Wow, these are the mornings you move to Florida for. Beautiful blue sky. Probably going to be about 80 today. I'm going to have to get the crush out and go for a ride an hour or two. So welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome, glad to have you. And if this is your first time, this channel is about everything motorcycle culture, if there is such a thing. It's probably multiple motorcycle cultures. But sometimes we uh, go look at new bikes. Um, I didn't want to paste and cut from the Harley video. You all can watch that. But I went down to Adrenaline Harley Davidson in uh, Sarasota. They have one anniversary edition, and it was a CVO. So I thought that it might make a cool video. I, I filmed all the other bikes too, but the CVO in person is just something else. I corralled one of the techs to uh, talk about it. So if you're not sure what a CVO is, uh, he can kind of explain it and why it's twice as expensive as uh, all the other bikes. And these bikes, these CVOs, they sell before they ever reach the dealerships. So there's a, there's a real market for them that's, you know, they pre-order them before they even get out. So if you want to learn something about a CVO, stick around at the end of the video. A little history behind Eric. His grandfather started Rossiter's Harley Davidson. This is Adrenaline Harley Davidson now, owned by the Momentum Holdings Company. They bought it from Mr. Rossiter when he retired on August 29th, took over. This is Eric Beasley, the parts manager. Manager. By the way, there you go. I found out the color Harlem Red Hay. Isn't that cool? From the factory, it is a custom bike that's detailed to the fullest extent, top to bottom. Basically taking that P&A catalog and throwing it at the motorcycle. From parts and chrome, accessories, switch housings, master cylinders, all the way down to the muffler tips. You've got accessories all over the place. Quality parts, the seat, from the lights into the saddlebags and the tour pack. This is stuff that you don't get on your standard Ultra Limited. Yes. Uh, 
117 cubic inch motor, beautiful paint scheme from you know front to back. The seat is also top quality stuff. So there's definitely less to do on a CVO when it comes to accessorizing it and making it your own and making it comfortable and stylish. Um, you know, you've got the full collection on this as far as the Kahuna floorboards, grips that we've been running for a few years hey, that yeah. everybody loves. The big Kahuna um, grips. But yeah, you know, this is this is one of the few models that already comes with a chrome front end and a few other things about the bike. So as far as the motor goes, all the stuff that I hear you and Mark talking yeah. about, this one is full capacity on 131. Yeah, 130, 131 would be the, uh, the most you can go and keep, still keeping your Harley Davidson factory warranty. Uh, there's also a few other motor options depending on how big you truly want to go. No impact uh, on, what, what, would Harley allow that to happen uh, on a CVO? Because I know there's special rules about You can do it on a CVO, you can do it to your Ultra Limited, um, and it's not going to affect your warranty. Um, either way, you can either still have your two-year warranty unaffected or even your extended ESP. This is premium, top of the line. This is the Mac Daddy coming from our factory. And it comes just like this. We've done zero dealer options on this bike. And it comes exactly as you see in this beautiful paint, beautiful chrome. I don't know if you picked motor. up on this. The eagle head starts here, the wing drapes all the way back to here. Did you talk so, about what number and how many bikes they actually made of this? Well, that's, there's 1,500 total of this model, and this is number 28. So what do you think? Should I ask Mrs. Geezer if she'll let me get a CVO?